Hi Disha, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm also doing good. Thank you for asking. So first of all, congratulations on your placement at Nation with Namo as decision scientist. Yes, thank you so much. So how are you feeling about the placement? Are you happy about the role offer? Did it meet your expectations? Uh, yeah, the role is actually what I was targeting. Like it was completely, it's completely ML based and all my projects and my internship was related to data science. And I was targeting this role. So I'm happy with the role I've got. Like it is exactly what I wanted. Okay, great. So how would you describe your experience during the interview process? Uh, so the interview had three rounds. It was an online interview and there were no tests. So uh, in the three mm -hmm. rounds, in the first round, I was asked questions be mostly based on resume and uh, mm -hmm. and ML, a few questions based from, from my projects, like what all did I use in the project? And the ML, uh, I used, let's say I used K-means or KNN. So I had to explain mm -hmm. what is K-means, what is KNN, very basic questions. So like I would suggest that study your uh, uh, projects very properly, project or internship, whatever you've done. So they ask questions related to my intern, intern as well and project as well. And they'll ask you whatever is your favorite project. You can describe that. You can choose that project. So at least like prepare one project properly, if, if not anything else. Like prepare your resume very thoroughly. They'll ask mostly from the resume. In, in both first and second rounds, it was like that. Uh, the third round was HR round. Both rounds were for 45 minutes and the HR round mm -hmm. was like, So that was the whole uh, okay, process. Okay. Okay. So how well did our pre-placement support like mock interviews, resume reviews, etc. prepare you for this job? Uh, it was actually very helpful, specifically the mock interviews, because I got a lot of insights, like how can the question be asked from my uh, from my resume, which I was trying that yeah, I can uh, maybe do this, maybe this kind of question will be asked, but a different perspective is given to you and you answer the questions in real time, which helps you practice as well that, okay. And sometimes you end up saying points which you should not say. So that was also... Uh, told to me that yeah you should not be mentioning such points or you should be presenting uh, your work in such a manner these few tips and the resume review part also my resume was um, like the content was there but the presentation was not proper and I was not having any other uh, you know like input apart from this so it was very helpful it they, they made my resume look properly formatted and uh, it made it look very good and very it was easy for the interviewer to accept my resume, I guess, because of that reason. And I was also very confident about it. Okay. Great. So look, anything you wish you had that would help in your role? Uh, hello? Yeah, yeah, Disha, you are audible. Right. Uh, I think I would have maybe done a few more courses, like the courses available on the uh, internet, that free courses or even paid courses related to mm -hmm. my role in specifically ML. So it would have looked better in my profile. I did do very basic courses, but I did not do any proper courses like from like Amazon and Google also have very good courses available. So I had not done those courses. So I would probably do th them to enhance my CV. I think internet got con uh, disconnected du during this question. Ek baar na, is question ka answer se bol do. Like, will it Chikha, get recorded? Se repeat kar the question. Hmm. Haan, haan, recording hoga. So looking back, is there anything you wish you had focused on more during college that would help in your current role? Uh, right. I had actually gone through a lot of things in college, but uh, one thing that was missing in my resume was I had not done proper certification, certificated courses. So I did do one or two basic courses from related to data analytics. But since I was targeting data science profile, I think I should have done more courses, 
even free or paid courses from Amazon or Google that would have looked much better on my CV and it would have helped me gain a better grasp on the concepts as well. So I would be, I might, if I go back, I might be adding that uh, to the, to my college. Experience. Okay. So what tips would you give to someone aiming to get selected for uh, this role? Uh, one thing I would definitely say is please practice Python. Uh, they will ask, especially in decision centers role, they ask you to code in Python during the interview. So they asked me to share my screen and uh, open, like I used to, I did all my projects in Google Collab. So Google Collab or Jupyter Notebook, anyone. And they will ask you to code, code, like they will give you a data set, any data set. I like, and they will ask you to code in that, uh, that, load this data set and count the null values, fill the null values, these kind of basic questions, group by, how do you do group by in Python? And they'll ask you to code like in them, in front of them real time. So like, please practice this because like, I was not, even if I was like, even if you're not very good at it, like if I did not know this beforehand. So it's very basic. Like even if you can do a little bit, they'll uh, select you. It's uh, it's not like a compulsion, but they are looking for someone who can code in Python properly. So please okay, practice. Okay, understood. So that's not usually okay, asked okay. in interviews. So mm -hmm. that's one mm -hmm. thing you can do. Okay, Disha. Okay. So anything else that you want to share specifically? Uh no, just just keep your confidence high. Like they'll ask you very, like in HR also, they ask you trap questions. So be prepared for that. Be confident and keep smiling. That's like, that's like the ultimate uh, goal setter. Like they'll take you if you're confident enough. They, they don't care that even if you don't know something, they'll say that, please prepare this before joining. And then they'll take you if you're confident enough that you'll say that, yeah, I can do this. Even if I don't know it now, I'll, I'll do it later. Keep that attitude, that learning attitude. And you'll get it don't worry okay okay uh, okay disha so thank you for sharing your placement interview experience with us have a nice day and uh, all the best for your future thank you so much